Put your arm around me and say, Danny, honey, I know it's got to be no. <laughs> I promised to babysit with the Wilson kids this weekend, and now I've been invited to go skiing. <laughs> no way! Not the Wilson kids! I'm in love. Karen Bailey. Transfer from Ohio, hazel eyes, silky blonde hair. Was it love at first sight for Karen, too? Well, uh, that's what I hope to find out at the party. I'll get it. Hello? Yes, this is the Partridge residence. Yeah, he's here. Who is it? Just some girl named Karen. <laughs> Give me that phone. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Great. I'll see you then. In fact, why don't I come by and pick you up, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, right. I'll see you then. Bye. What happened? She's bringing a date. Solved your dilemma. Okay, give. What does any girl want more than her boyfriend? Huh? Somebody else's boyfriend. Bring another date to the party, a real knockout. You're right. I'll try it. <laughs> Okay, Sue. Yeah, I know it's kind of late notice. Have fun ice skating. Okay, bye. <laughs> Did you bomb out again? Don't you have something to do? <laughs> Why is Nancy scratched out? She caught me dating her roommate. Why is Margaret scratched out? She's Nancy's roommate. Please, you don't ask a girl out to make another one jealous? Boy, am I gonna look like a loser to Karen? I can't even get a date to my own party. Hi. Wait a minute. Turn around. What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing. You know, I never thought about it before, but, uh, you're very pretty. I hope you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. <gasps> Mom, it's perfect. She'd be in on it, so I wouldn't have to worry about hurting her feelings. Well, that's true. <laughs> How'd you like to be my date for the party? Well, let me see your profile. George. 
Nice to meet you. George, come on in. Psst. Where's Lori? Karen Bailey. Nice to meet you, Karen. Hi, Lori Bell. <laughs> oh, I'd love some punch. Sugar Plum, would you get little old me some punch? <laughs> punch, of course. Anything you want, I'll do. I know. Karen, meet Mother Culpepper. She arrived earlier, right, Mom Culpepper? Why, of course. I declare I've known this little old boy since he was knee-high to a bull weevil. Excuse me, please. What are you doing? Karen's watching. <laughs> Last night, I turned out the last lay down and thought about you. I thought about the way that it could be. Two o'clock, wondering what I'm doing here alone without you. So I close my eyes and dream you here. Immediately after this episode, it was discovered that someone spiked the punch at the party. While Keith and Lori instantly went back to normal, Chris and Tracy were traumatized for a while. And Danny, well, everyone knows what happened with him. Oh,